All right, we're back, and Miss Chi has an art activity with you, for you. She's going to teach you how to make different colors with paint. So, so I have blue, and I have yellow. If Miss Chi mixes blue and yellow together, yeah. friends, do you know what color it's going to make? Yeah. It will make a new color. Let's mix mix the color and look. What's the color change? What's that color? Let me mix it. Oh, green. green and yellow. Green like the leaves before they change in the fall, huh? We have green leaves that are changing right now. And the other color I have black and yellow. Oh, can you guess if Miss Chi mixes her red and yellow Let's paint see. together? What color will it make? Look, what's that color? It makes it's orange. Do you notice that red and yellow and orange are different colors that we see in fire? When we're reading about fire safety and we see pictures of flames. I have blue and red. Let's mix together. And look what color change. Oh, that's yeah, I put red. more red. That's really nice. What color did Miss Chi make? Oh, did you see that color? It looks brown, right? I need to put more red on. It looks purple. Oh, huh? purple. Did it look... Yeah, purple. And purple, red and something. red and blue is purple. Okay. Very fun. And then Miss Chi has all this extra paint. And so if you're painting at home, these are our primary colors. And we can use other colors and mix them together and see what kind of colors. Now I was going to read a dog book today, but when Miss Chi and I started mixing colors this morning, I was starting to think about one of our books we read a lot last year that you guys love. If you were in my room, we read this a bunch of times because the kids liked it. And it's about mixing colors. And the book has, it's called Mouse Paint. That's the title, Mouse Paint. And the author, the person that wrote this, is Ellen Stoll Walsh. And um, so some people have mice at their house for pets. It, it can be a pet. It looks a little similar to a hamster. We showed you the hamster's um, picture the other day. You can keep the, the mice in a cage just like a hamster you can have a wheel for them to run on. They're easy to take care of. They're easy to feed. Some people are afraid of them, but I think they're very good. All right, so our story is mouse paint. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. You see them? Just like the colors Miss Chi had mixed. One red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint. 
So they climbed right in. Oh, that's so silly. Then one was red, and one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like fun. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. Friends, do you remember what's gonna happen? He, his red feet stirred the yellow puddle until, what do you think, friends? Look, he cried, red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and danced until purple. They all shouted, blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their feet got all stick, stiff and sticky. So they washed themselves down to a nice, soft white. Look at that cat. They washed themselves in the cat dish and painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow and one part blue. They mixed red and yellow paint, red and yellow to make orange yellow and blue to make green, and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white just because of the cat. So that shows you just like Miss Chi showing you how to mix your colors. This story also tells you how to mix your colors. All right, friends. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we will talk to you next week. Bye.